welcome to another Sam and Jam Minecraft episode. This is Jam here, and whoop, there's Samantha Mania and Aquatic. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure. What do you say, ladies? I don't know how to say it. How do you pronounce it? Whatever. Anyhow, we are going to be showing you the new map for Spawn, because I have added a bunch of stuff, and we want to show it off. Um, on the map here, I'm obviously the little green dot up here. Off to the right, we have a sandcastle in a kind of an oceany biome I'm creating. Over here, we have bee hut and shepherd hut. We've revamped our farms, and we have a mining, blacksmithing area over here that I made with all the cool clay. Um, and down here, we have different types of forest, jungle. I'm trying to get like a little taste of every biome in our location here at Spawn. Oh, and the pyramid over there, totally wrapped it up. It's gold. Okay, let's show it off. All right, do you guys want to give us a tour around? Or do you want to follow me? <laughs> follow me! Woohoo! First place we're going to is over here where we have the bee hut and the shepherd's hut. And yes, there are little teeny caves and stuff that I've been working on, making them all cool. So anyhow, Shepherd's Hut here. Hello, wool merchants. We've got some vendors here who can sell you. It looks like black wool and gray wool, and uh, hopefully more types as you um, trade with them. You can also make banners with the loom over here. If you have extra banners or I find banners and I need to get rid of them, I'll throw them in there. You guys can trade them, copy them, do whatever you want. Over there will be wool eventually. Right now it's just a whole pile of shears. And I am working down here on a little wool capturing device. Um, it's got uh, minecart traps, funnels, and it should shear the sheep on the other side. And so you can work on building banners down there if you want. Um, this is the sheep field. And I have at least one of every color sheep. I've got them a nice little pond full of fishies that they can drink out of and some pretty azalea bushes. And I didn't fence it all the way around, but I made the azalea bush at least two blocks high so they can't get out of it. Um, and then I have fence on this side um, so you can see through and keep them contained without having to bush everything up. Anyhow, I'm working on making this don't know if I did it right though. It should be shearing the sheep. I'll have to look at the tutorial. I might have done something wrong. Anyhow, eventually that should shear sheep and drop the wool into the trunk below, which you could then use to make banners. And you can just open the gate and put in a new sheep if you want different colored sheep um, for it to collect while you are doing your tasks. And then if you need bee supplies, I have a lovely beekeeping zone over here. Oh, hello, we have a bumble in here. And there is honey, um, combs, bottles of honey, hives. If you need to shear, I've got them all smoked up so you can shear them without um, getting stung. Are you stuck in a corner, little guy? I'd whack you, but you might sting me. Um, and we also have outdoor hives out here so you can collect honey. I'm growing a little flower biome over here um, among these trees. I haven't gotten it full flowered yet, but eventually this whole hill will be flowers. And you can see the sheep pen. There's no fence on the back side, it's just water, so I guess the sheep can wander out. Looks like one of the white ones did. Um, <laughs> but for the most part, they all stay in line between my azalea fence and a regular fence. So let's go check out the sand castle. You guys want to go see that? Oop, little zombie on fire. Uh, the sand castle's on the other side of the spawn point. And ooh, let's make the weather nice. Oh, weather first then clear. Sorry, it's a little zombie bugging you guys. Watch out. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to hit him without hitting you. Oh good, I didn't kill you. Hi! Okay, you guys okay? 
Do you need food? All right. Um, over here, we have our iron golem floating in the water. Um, but we have a little ocean biome that I created and a sandcastle. And if you go swimming, you can see there's yellow coral over here, blue coral over there, pink coral. You can see I made little coral sea caves. And there's different coral sections everywhere. Uh, sugar all along the sides, some lily pads. I need to put some boats in here. And then this awesome sand castle I made with its own little campfire, so you can camp out here if you want. I'll give you a view of it from above. Do, 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 sand castle. And you can go up inside of it if you climb up the vines in here. Uh, this takes you to the first level, and then you go in here. And I need to put a lantern or something in here to keep it brighter. There we go. And then you can go up here and that'll take you to the next level, which takes you to the tippy top. Woohoo! Check it out. Oh my goodness, you got a whole bunch of boats in there, don't you girls? <laughs> what are you doing spinning in circles? You are so silly. You're spinning right round, right round. Look at you spinning right round. Oh, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I'm working on the different biomes. Over there, we have the um, dark oak forest. Over here, I'm working on making this jungle. We have some extreme mountains, and I'm going to make a little nether uh, biome inside this semi cave. As you can see, there's a portal already there. So if you make a portal on your world, you can shortcut through the nether to get back to spawn. Over here, we have the spruce forest biome. I let loose a whole pile of alpacas and goats. <laughs> and over here, as you can see, we have the clay mesas, uh, more alpacas, obviously. I made some nice stations. Um, I'm going to get villagers hooked up to them, little beds for them. And there are shortcuts through the mountains, so you don't have to climb through them if you want to get to the wooden, the spruce mm. biome from this one. And in here we have a nice little blacksmithy forge area where blacksmiths work. You can use the anvils, you can use the um, blast furnace if you need to cook stuff that you're mining. Put some extra supplies up there, um, so it's all set to cook for you. If you just throw your stuff in the top, it'll come out the bottom, all nice and cooked up. And of course, an ender chest for you. And down here, if you go down this tunnel, it'll take you to mine shafts, which you can use to um, mine. Not yourself silly. There's a whole bunch of um, railroad tracks and stuff down there. And over there, at the beautiful sunset, is the Golden Pyramid. You know, we need to make a Golden Pyramid video. Um, I just need to like clear out some of the sand around it so it looks better. But then we will make a video of that. For now, I'm just going to let it set, that beautiful sunset, and then we will jam you out of here, right ladies? What videos do you want to make next? Do you want to do a pyramid video at some point? Pyramid video, you say? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Everybody say goodbye! Bye. Jamie Laters.